Hello, Brad here. Recently I've been getting some comments about how I'm recording my videos and what programs I use, how I do it and all this sort of stuff. So I figured I'm just going to do a video to answer your questions and I suppose you can just make comments and I'll just respond to them based around this video. So I was trying to look for things I needed to do and I have uh, one of my videos that needs rendering. So what I'm using right now is Camtasia Studio and Windows Live Movie Maker. Movie Maker is just recording the webcam. I generally start up Camtasia first and then I, as I hit my button to start it, which is F9, so I hit F9, it counts down 3, 2, 1, I click on record and then I wait a second and then I start talking in the video. That's why generally half the time I'm like this and I turn is because I just don't bother to cut out the turn or whatever or I start talking while I'm turning. It's just something you have to practice. My camera's to the left of me, not in front of me, so that's why I do that. Uh, so Camtasia itself is pretty simple to use. You can purchase it online. So what I need to do is import my media. I have it on my second drive. <coughs> it's under Camtasia. It's going to be Sands of the Colosseum. It's under Episodes. You can file the, your videos however you like, whatever makes sense to you. Uh, right now it's a little bit jumbled. I haven't really got into a rhythm of how to, to file things, but this makes sense to me. So the number that I'm actually up to, because I use an external drive to, um, to save off all my, my backed up gear onto. So this is one that happened to be still on my, on my secondary drive, and I haven't rendered it yet. Uh, so I need to render number 13. Pick that one. It's going to add it over here, and I'm just going to drag it, or you can click Add to Timeline. Just drag it down there, and that's going to populate it in the timeline. I generally use YouTube and HD. Uh, for just my dimensions, you can choose whatever you want, whatever is relevant to you. I generally try to keep HD, even though this is a flash game. I know you're probably going to say, it's a flash game, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just my habit. I always try to do HD if I can. So that's what it's going to look like. It's going to be pretty much just... This one's very simple. It's just one video, one audio track. I'm not going to teach you how to edit. Uh, I don't know that much myself, which is great because it's very very basic. You don't need to know much. So this is something I've recorded on Camtasia. So now I'm recording again in Camtasia how I'm going to render it in Camtasia. So it's like Camception or something. So I've got that and I don't have face cam for this. But if I wanted to put a face cam into this, I'll just show you. I've got something on my desktop. What have I got? Um, I'll just use one of the... Well, I'll show you a longer version. This is one from just a video I recorded earlier. Hit add to any picture in picture video. That's going to drag it down here to a different uh, track. You click on it, you resize it, you put it wherever you want. Uh, generally I go top left. Depending on the game, if, if the game has got detail in the top left, don't do it in the top left. Um, just do it wherever you want. You can put it wherever you want, however big you... however. I haven't worked out how to do borders. Oh, there, well, there we go. Now I've learned how to do a border. But uh, it's very simple. So anyway, that's the clip. The clip actually, because it's not to do with this video, it's not going to be anywhere near as long as I need it to be, but that's fine. Generally, if you've done what I just said at the beginning, where you've hit record and you've recorded your webcam at the same time, you're going to have an, a roughly equal amount of time recording. This one just happens to be four minutes. So that's fine. So I'll show you what it looks like. Generally, when I use Fraps, I don't record the mic. I record the mic with Windows Live Movie Maker. You've got to pick one. You can't do both. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a track that's got sound and sound, and you're going to have to fiddle with that. So it's easier just to pick one. That's generally how it would look. It'll have nothing. And as you would play it, it would just be my commentary and lowered sound or whatever, however you however you want to record it, that's up to you. Uh, you can undo it just quickly there. And you can relink it by undoing it as well. But if you go too far, you can't relink audio and video tracks together. The problem with that is when you move it, uh, when it's at the back of something, say if you move it, I'll do it here, just cutting it. 
Uh, I can't move it because there's nothing behind it. I'll give it that. Okay. I'll swap those. See how the the audio stays together? But if I had have kept it uh, disconnected, the audio wouldn't have moved with the video, and it becomes out of sync. And you've got to just like you've got to keep them together. You've got to make sure they're always together. So I'm going to undo all of that crap that I just did, chopping it up. I'm going a little bit into editing here. I, I didn't really want to, but stuff it. You can learn it. Um, so anyway, that's how it would look. That's the basics of it. And what I would like to do is produce this as it is. There's nothing wrong with it. Say that the audio and um, everything was in line and I was happy with how that was going to come out. I click on Produce and Share and to actually make this a functional... Uh, actually, no, I'll just leave it for you. I'll do it again later for myself. So you do HD, you can choose whatever setting you want. I would put it... I would keep it the same name as what I had it before, so this was 13. Desktop, that's fine. I just click Finish. I'm back. Sorry, I got bored. I didn't want to record a 20 minute long <laughs> tutorial and then have to <clears throat> uh, chop, all, chop it all out and, and wait for this to, to save and all that crap. So, it's almost finished and I will show you what happens at the final result. It's um, not there's pretty much nothing left. There's nothing much left to do. If you're trying to play a game at the same time as you are doing this kind of thing, you could cause yourself to lag because it's going to be accessing your hard drive at the same time. Also, when it gets to the final stage where it's saving and doing all that jazz, it often gives you a bit of a spike it'll pause for a second, it's, it's spiking because it's saving or, or whatever, it's going to throw up the screen in your face. So that's something you've got to be careful of. So if you think you're going to play a game or do another recording in between rendering something, that's fine. But you have to get a, a judge of how long it's going to take you to render that first one. If you know it's going to take roughly 15 minutes and you want to record another 10 minute thing on Fraps or something, go nuts because you'll be done. But if you're computer is fast and you are going to take five minutes and you think you're going to do a ten minute recording, you get halfway through your recording and your game lags the crap, you don't need that. So just be aware of that. I've been trying to do too much at the same time and and caused our recording quality to to suffer. So that's it, pretty much. Um, that's how it looks. That's how big it is. And I suppose the only other thing I didn't show is how to add my outro onto this, and this is how I do it. Outro is a separate file. Where is it? There it is. Outro complete. Yeah, bring it into your import media clip bin thingy, and you just add it to the end of video one. So, that actually added it to the beginning, but that's easy enough. I want, just push it to where you want it to be. You can also go up to here, timeline zoom to fit, or you can zoom it here. Anyway, add to video one. There we go. So it's on the end of video one now. So as that goes, bam, outro. And that's, that's what I could have added to begin with and rendered it with that on there. But as I'm not doing a serious one, I just want to do it as quickly as I can. That's how you can do sort of that sort of stuff. Like you can have a set intro, set outro, and uh, save it as a video clip, and then just attach it on the front and the back of a series of episodes. So I hope that's answered a lot of questions. I know I've I've gone into a little bit more detail in a, in a lot of areas where I didn't mean to. That's just I'm doing it all pretty much as I'm going live. So it's. I haven't got a script to go by, so I'm just sort of talking out of my butt. So I hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy my outro. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why not give it a like and add it to favourites? 
It really helps a lot, and why not share it with your friends, your family, and Angus down the road. Also, if you're new here, why not subscribe and join me in my adventures.